Hey YouTube, how's it going? MacMan here, and today we're going to be doing an application review on an application called Sketcher. Now before I get into this, I just want to apologize for the lack of videos recently. Um, as you may have seen in my recent video with the little cartoon of phones, um, I am currently doing my exams. Uh, all of my exams are next week. Um, I've been studying uh, quite hard now, and I haven't really had the chance to um, make a video. So anyways, I'm going to be trying to do this right now because um, I found a bit of spare time but let's jump right into the video so this application is called Sketcher um, you can download it from their website at neatberry.com link will be in the description you can uh, download a free trial which is what I'm on you can also purchase it um, so let's get right into the application uh, it's a very very well done application um, so once you open it, open it up sorry uh, you'll have this little window and it's gonna say drag an image here now I had some troubles just dragging the image um, so I'm just going to hit file uh, open uh, oopsie daisies um, let me just quit the application here restart it uh, so I'm gonna open up sketcher again right here and it says you're on the demo just hit OK just move this over here and I'm just gonna hit file open and we're just going to select an image so I'm just gonna look around for an image here in my library uh, we'll take this China one um, so here's a very very nice photo of um, some place in China um, now we can add some effects now there's some different filters it comes with about five or six filters uh, there's a pencil filter watercolor pastel oil paint blend and a water mix now I'm just going to uh, show you guys a quick preview so here's the pencil one here's the watercolor one um, I like the watercolor one a lot here's um pastel oil and paint blend and a water mix now different um, filters look better on certain pictures um, so it really depends on what kind of picture you are editing um, in this case I really like the watercolor one so I'm just going to hit process now have a look at the picture right now and watch when I hit process alright so here it's processing and there we go so as you can see it added a very very nice touch to the photo um, it adds a nice watercolor look we also have some uh, different options uh, right here below the filters tab uh, we can change the strengths so if I were to put the strength uh, very low as you can see there's not much watercolor um, but we can also drag it back up again and the watercolor will be high again we can also change the details um, just to have more de detail or less detail saturation brightness uh, that's pretty self-explanatory um, then we have some different pencils now we can do a, a dark shading we can have a contour uh, we can have light shading uh, we'll try this contour one we'll hit process and as you can see it adds just a uh, different look there um, a bit darker um, so that's very nice. We can also change the type of canvas. So we can add such as a grained canvas. I'll hit process. And as you can see, it just uh, has a grainy background to it. Um, another nice one is, I think it was the watercolor paper that kind of matches it uh, quite well. So as you can see right there. So that's a very, very nice application. Um, I definitely recommend getting it if you're into things like these. Very easy way to uh, edit your photos in a very nice fashion. We can also save them just by hitting save as. Um, it will have a watermark if you are using the trial. We'll just hit OK for now. We can name it whatever uh, we like. I'll name it uh, that for instance. I'll hit save. It's going to save and render, and uh, you're good to go right there. So that's pretty much it for Sketcher, guys. I hope you enjoyed this application review. Please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Also, don't forget to check me out on Twitter, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.